Welcome to Significant TV, Significant Stories, Significant Entrepreneurs. I'm your host, Fran McNeil, and joining me in the studio today is Dr. Brandy. Dr. Brandy? Yes, Dr. Brandy. <laughs> Welcome. How are you today? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you for having me. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. I love the smile. You are Thank ready. You. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Yeah, and the new do. Yes, yeah, so, yeah. So something a little different. Something a little so. different. Okay, mm -hmm. great. Well, Dr. Brandy, I am glad you're here. And I know that there are some viewers wondering, Dr. Brandy, how can she be a doctor? She looks like an undergraduate. I know. So let's just start there. I mean, I know you yes. always get asked this. Um, I know. Well, Dr. besides Brandy. the fact yeah. that I have awesome genes, okay. I thank my parents Great. for that. Okay. Um, I am a doctor. I have a PhD in educational leadership, mm -hmm. and um, I spent uh, 12 years in school studying, keeping my head in the books, and mm -hmm. I'm a nerd. I'm a professional nerd, but it's okay. working out for me now it's that I'm an entrepreneur. Out. Okay, yeah. so undergraduate at Temple. Yes. Masters at Temple. Yes. Doctorate at Temple. Mm -hmm. What did you major in as an undergraduate? Actually, psychology. Okay. You know, growing up as an only child, I always was fascinated with sort of human behavior and how I can control people and my uh, friends. Oh, okay. So I'm going to have to watch out for you. Okay, go <laughs> yes, ahead. Yes, I'm ahead. analyzing ahead. you right go now. Ahead. I'll okay. tell you my results later. <laughs> okay. But, um, Don't charge me. <laughs> no, for free. For free. Okay. Okay. And um, I thought about, wow, how can I do that professionally? And I learned mm -hmm. about psychology, all about human behavior, why we behave the way that we do. Mm -hmm. And um, I learned a lot in that industry, and I also learned a lot about myself. So that's how I got started. Mm -hmm. Well, Dr. Brandy, now that you're at a point where you know more about yourself, and more yes. about human behavior. How do you apply that to what you do on a daily basis? Well, right now I'm a career and leadership strategist, so a mm -hmm. lot of it is helping people figure out how to take their careers to the next level, uh, whether they're leaders uh, by character or leaders by title. Mm -hmm. And I have to first start with them. Who are you and what's personally holding you back? So that's really helped me in my work, having that psychology background. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can definitely see that. Yeah. And I like that phrase and I know it's more than a phrase, mm -hmm. but leaders by character or yes. leaders by title. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, we've all had jobs. I started off working at The Gap um, okay. at the age of 15. Oh, and I bet I saw you in a Gap. Probably yeah, so. Yeah. I, was, I was in the fitting room. I was okay. a specialist in the fitting okay. room. So, okay. um, But when I was there, I, I came in contact with so many different managers who had the title of manager, mm -hmm. but quite frankly, you know, right, I could have mm -hmm. run circles around mm -hmm. them myself, mm -hmm. and I was only 15 at the time. Mm -hmm. So I learned, you know, in the professional world and in my career that it's important to acknowledge professionals who have the character of leaders, whether they have the title or not. Mm -hmm. And if you can sort of identify the leadership uh, skills within you, that can help you make that jump from non-leader to formal leader within an organization. Wow. Yeah. Now, I bet that's really powerful for folks who are coming right out of college. I guess those are yes. the millennials. Yes. Yeah. You know what? And I tell people when I work with um, professionals who are making that transition, I help mm -hmm. to take them from the classroom to the boardroom. Mm. And being a student leader and being a professional leader, they're two different things. So I think oh, transitioning okay. from being a student to a professional is, is really tough and can be tough. Mm -hmm. I was able to successfully do that, and that's mm -hmm. what I help other people do. Share with me some of your findings, mm -hmm. since we'll be analytical about yes. it, <laughs> um, your findings for making that transition as a student. Yes. Yeah. I think the first thing, it's all about what you're naturally talented at, what your natural mm -hmm. skills are. I was one of those students who I felt like I was a unicorn hanging around a lot oh. of horses. Oh, so I was, okay. I was different, okay, right? You were I was different. different. Okay, okay. I was always mature for my age. Mm -hmm. um, and I thought I didn't really fit in with my mm -hmm. age group, but I realized I really was a leader. Mm -hmm. And so if you can identify as you're a student, well, what are those ways that I'm different? How are those ways that I stand out naturally? Chances are you can incorporate that into a professional brand and mm -hmm. transition that um, as a professional. So, yeah. And when you talk about brand, yes. which is also part of Dr. Brandy, <laughs> you you brand. I Absolutely. mean, you, you've branded yourself. For sure. My yeah. first step, we had, you know, I got a team together when I launched as an entrepreneur. My first step was this initiative that we called uh, in my company Branding Brandy. Okay. And they said, okay, we have to brand you. Mm -hmm. You know, what are the things that you stand for? How do you make people feel when they're in your presence? You need to be consistent with that. And as I sort of followed our Branding Brandy plan, 
plan, it accelerated my business, you know, tenfold. It's not about what you know and your experience and your degrees. All of that helps. But if you can't translate that for others and connect with others, it'll really um, hinder your professional success. So that's a part of the work that we do as well. Yeah. Well, I'd like to take us back, have you take us back to what was that significant moment? Mm -hmm. Or there may be moments, mm -hmm. but you know, what sort of put you on the path of entrepreneurship? Because as you said, you know, 12 years K through 12 and then 12 years undergraduate yes. to doctorate. Well, you know what? My family has several entrepreneurs mm -hmm. there. And as a child, I didn't really understand what that was, but I saw my grandfather, he, he's from New York, mm -hmm. and he only has an eighth grade education. And he wound up being um, owning a property in Brooklyn um, in Bed Stuy neighborhood Ooh, that is okay. now yes, oh, yes. now very, very trendy now yes, yes, yes right. absolutely right. and he wound up selling his building for a million dollars um, absolutely right mm -hmm. and then a mom who had various uh, side hustles mm -hmm. growing up mm -hmm. um, and so I saw this but as a child my mother always instilled in me education you got to get your schools school school mm -hmm. school mm -hmm. so I became very good at doing this school thing and formal education but deep down in inside that structure um, always having to sort of achieve and try to get that a it was great mm -hmm. but it wasn't exactly uh, my passion point okay. and so as I transitioned from K through 12 and into college I started realizing wow you always have these different things you're working on for example I had a newsletter mm -hmm. um, and it had like the content I can't even tell you what the content was <laughs> right but I sold the newsletter for a dollar to my friends I was, I was making $400, $500 a month by selling what grade a is newsletter. This? this is about eighth grade. Wow, okay. I typed Pretty everything up. I typed everything up on my huge computer, right? Okay. My mom, and sorry mom for, for sharing this, but she used to use her work copier. They had a color <gasps> copier at work. Ooh, she made all my, she made all the copies okay. for me, okay. and she'd come home with this secret envelope mm -hmm. of copies and copies of the newsletter. I'd take it to school, sell out within a week, and the mm -hmm. next month my friends were asking for more. Wow. So there were little things that I did for fun, Mm -hmm. And I never equated that with like, wow, I could actually do this as an adult. Mm -hmm. But um, once I went through a series of pivots professionally and mm -hmm. realizing that I didn't really fit in in terms of a typical nine to five job, mm -hmm. um, I said, you know what, let me try just having fun and being creative and doing things that I love. Excellent. And it took me to entrepreneurship. <laughs> well, as an entrepreneur now, Dr. Brandy, mm -hmm. what is it exactly that you do and who do you do it for? So I actually have a company called Millennial Ventures and it's a suite of brands that are really tied together to help professionals achieve what I call career freedom. Okay. So one of our premier brands is youadvise.me ah, and that's where we help one. organizations yeah. um, really empower their leaders and their mm -hmm. managers and their staff. It's all about engagement. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that we say is we, we help companies make their teams say, I do. I do mm. want to be here. I do want to work hard. I do want to stay, rather than having employees that want to leave or do mm. something else. Um, so a lot of it is really tied to my organizational psychology background, oh. and and I love it. I mean, we create mm. programs and trainings to make organizations a, a fun place, and it's not about making employees happy. It's about making them oh. fulfilled. Okay. Fun, happy, fulfilled. Okay, yes. so there's a, there's a spectrum. You, in fact, have a book yes. that kind of ties all this together. Can you yes. show the book so this and is tell your us copy. a little bit? Okay, oh, good. I'm going to autograph okay. it for you. Ooh, um, but it's Put in Work, Gain Respect, Influence Others, and Get Results as a New Leader. Okay. And I was inspired to write this book, you know, as a result of my own professional journey. I went through 10 jobs in 10 different year in 10 years. Okay. And I realized, gosh, I keep job hopping because I don't know if I feel in here I was sort of struggling in my mm -hmm. career mm -hmm. and um, you know one of the things that I started off with in that journey um, at the age of 21 mm -hmm. was being promoted to supervise a 249 bed facility a student housing facility well wow. yes uh, within two weeks of us starting I started off as an RA okay. resident assistant right. and yes. the person who was designated as the resident director he quit 
okay. couldn't take it after two weeks. He was Did like, you drive him crazy? No, okay. no, it wasn't me. Okay. Okay. It wasn't me. Wink, clarify. wink. Okay. <laughs> and the management said, your peers have actually come together behind closed doors and they've nominated you to take this position. Normally, we would not allow someone with your full-time student status to do this, but we think you can do it. And I was like, okay, sure, I'll do it. Okay. And that was my first experience as a leader. And right. between me and you, it, I was a hot mess. It was an okay. epic fail. Okay. I had to supervise okay. 12 of my um, peers. Peers, right. And over that, in the next 10 years of different job hopping and things before I decided to jump into entrepreneurship, I learned so much about being a new leader and what you can do to gain respect influence others and also get results. Mm -hmm. I bottled it all up and put it in this book. So for $10, new leaders or leaders who are ready to transition and sort of mm -hmm. take it up a notch, mm -hmm. they can read this and say, you know what, I'm really ready to influence a lot more. And it's Perfect. practical, it's real talk, you're gonna hear oh, my I, voice. I, yeah. I <laughs> it's not theory. Not expect theory <laughs> or corporate talk. Yeah. Okay, I, I, I got yeah. it. How can people find out about your book, your brand? Yes. Dr. Brandy. Well, um, <laughs> going to drbrandy.com. Okay. You know, that's where you'll see what I'm up to, where I'm mm -hmm. speaking, uh, what appearances I have, mm -hmm. and what my brands and companies are doing right now. And that's Brandy, B R A N D I. I. Yes. Mm. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Don't don't confuse it with a Y. I'm just okay. saying. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, what's next for you? I mean, you this is an incredible journey. Yes. And you're helping others, Millennial Ventures, you're yes. writing a book, you're speaking. What's next for you? I think right now, you know, I'm at a point where it's about solidifying the brands that I've created and mm -hmm. really making sure that I'm not a one-hit wonder. Oh, you okay. know, there's so okay. many ideas that I have and it takes a lot of restraint to be able to focus and yes. build something that's that's significant, no mm -hmm. pun intended. Mm -hmm. So my focus okay. now is uh, building out my team. We're doing actively, we're actively hiring right now. Oh, there's so much business growth going yeah. on. So yeah. I wanna make sure that I'm focused on really establishing a legacy and showing people that young millennials that are highly educated or maybe just highly ambitious mm -hmm. with the right focus and passion and dedication that we can really have a positive impact on the world. I love that. We have about a minute left. Mm -hmm. What advice do you have for a young millennial that is highly ambitious? Yes. Whether they're educated or not, they're highly ambitious. Yes. What's the one piece of advice that will help them? I would say spend less time trying to, you know, fight through your difference, the fact mm. that you are different. Mm -hmm. For me, you know, I fit into that formal education mode. I was great as a student. You know, I love learning. That was great mm -hmm. for me. But being an entrepreneur is totally different. It's high risk, but mm -hmm. it's also high reward. Yes. And for those people who are ambitious in whatever way, I, I want them to encourage them that the majority of the world is not gonna be on the same path as you. Mm. It's tough, it can be lonely, mm -hmm. but the sooner that you commit to your dream and your passion, the sooner you'll see the results, and it's all worth it. Mm. And all of that from psychology? Yeah, yes. and experience. <laughs> and experience, yes. wow, yes. O and E, wonderful, yes. wonderful. Well, it's been energizing well, to have you. you on the show. Thank you for making some time. Well, sure. uh, congratulations on what you've done, and I definitely, even though I don't have a crystal ball, <laughs> I see a significant success in your future. Thank you, thank, thank you. you, I appreciate that. Thank you, mm -hmm. you're welcome. Significant stories, significant entrepreneurs, significant impact. Dr. Brandy and Fran McNeil, there you have it. Continue to follow us as we interview 30 entrepreneurs, no, that's not right, 80 entrepreneurs in the Philadelphia area.